Podcast. If you're expecting a bunch of guru fluff and get-rich-quick garbage, you've come to the wrong place. This show is the No Bullshit Real Deal. No Bullshit Real Deal. I'm Larry Harbolt, and they call me The Real Deal. Welcome to my show. This show is aimed at providing you with quality information so you can make more profit in the fastest way possible without making costly mistakes from the deals you do. Let's get started. Hello, everyone. You know, today I thought I'd talk about something that, you know, everybody's all caught up in today's hysteria over the pandemic coronavirus. And I just want to say, you know, you don't want to panic. Now is the time to look for opportunities. You know, there's going to be opportunities just like we've seen before. You know, back when there was the swine flu, life didn't stop. We kept on making offers. Yes, people got sick, people died. And there will with this too. But you have to understand, we're looking for opportunities other people aren't seeing. That's the critical part. Now, remember when the market crashed in 2008 and 2009? A lot of people lost their properties. The problem was everybody looked for those properties after they were in the foreclosure process. You got to find these properties before they get to that point. And you know, Today, with this coronavirus, there's going to be problems. It's going to be no different than it was before. Life can't stop. It's up to us to find opportunities other people aren't seeing. Now, what I'm looking for is I want to send letters because I think sending letters at this point in time might be good because we're looking for properties where the people may have lost their job. They don't have money to pay their mortgage payment. They may be already in trouble. They need to sell. I would send letters. Now, I used to send letters only to non-owner occupied, free and clear. But today, I might do a blanket letter to people because we don't know who's in trouble because it hasn't, their property hasn't gone into foreclosure yet. That would be a good idea to send to people that are behind in their payments and nobody else knows about it. Another thing, you know, there are probate properties out there. Now's a good time to look at the probates before they hit the multiple listing service. So another thing I've done that's worked very well for me is I have a a sheet that I put up in laundromats and grocery stores, supermarkets, any place that has a cork board. And what it is, it just simply says that I buy houses, I'm looking for houses in this area, and on the bottom there are tear-offs with my phone number on. I've cut the page so you can and they can rip off a couple or take one home with your phone number and call you. When I put that up, I always tear a couple off to make it look like people have already done that. I think it's a good idea. But, you know, MLS properties, that's where everybody else is looking. And, and, you know, these are the people that aren't in trouble yet. The Liz Pendens hasn't been filed on their property. These are the ones we're looking for at a time like this. You know, we don't want to take advantage of these people. Because many of these people, once they get into distress, it's not good. And and the worst thing we can do is rip them off or take advantage of them. They have a problem, and we're there to solve their problem. So don't forget, there are still going to be subject to deals out there where people may be already in foreclosure that are willing to deed you the property, and you take over paying the mortgage payment without, without ever assuming it. And you can do lease option deals. They're always going to be there. So don't forget about those. You know, this is not the time to stop marketing to the homeowners. This is a time that you just don't look in the MLS for everything. You look outside the MLS for properties that are not listed where you can make an opportunity because these are the people that need the help the most right now. So you got to... You just got to understand that those who haven't exposed the fact that they're in trouble are the people we're looking for. Now, maybe some of them are going to be embarrassed. You don't know. But the point is, if they are in trouble and they need to sell, by you contacting them could be an opportunity for you. See, these opportunities, they're going to be everywhere. It's not like it's going to, everybody's going to just crawl in a hole and die. Life is going to go on. People are going to lose their jobs because they they won't let you go anywhere. They won't let you go to work. 
it's going to be bad. So people are going to get into trouble. Some of them that are on the brink of being in foreclosure, they may want to sell to you before they get the damage on their credit report. So you got to look where other people aren't looking. And like I said, we're not there to rip these people off. We're there to help these people. Now, you know, at my four-day Never Step Into a Bank Again four-day training, I teach extensively about something that I think is very, very important if you're going to talk to these people. And that's the four parts of every offer and how each of the four parts, they're adjustable. Now, this doesn't work if you're going to get bank financing, believe me. And here's why. When you get a loan through a bank, they're going to tell you how much they will lend on that property. They tell you the interest rate you're going to pay. They tell you how much your payment's going to be. And they tell you how long you have to pay off the loan. When you're dealing with people, that doesn't apply. Each one of those parts are adjustable. So I'm going to tell you right now, this would be the perfect time to use this strategy because it can revolutionize your business so you can structure deals others aren't going to be able to do if you just understand this one concept. Now, this is the perfect time to use this strategy. And I want to name what the four parts are because if you don't remember or you haven't heard, the four parts of every offer that are adjustable are the price that you agree to pay, the term or the length of the payback period, the interest rate you pay, and the amount of the monthly payment you're going to pay. Each one of those are adjustable. It's not a fixed thing offering an amortization sheet. It's whatever you and the seller can agree to. That's the beautiful part of this. It's something you two can agree on. So if you're going to use this technique when you're talking to sellers, I'll tell you right now, there isn't a deal you can't create that's going to work for you as well as work for any seller out there as long as you can put these deals together. It's just simple, but you've got to get time to talk directly to the seller, not through a real estate agent. Real estate agents are great people, but in this case, they could get in your way because they may try to keep you from talking directly to the seller, thinking you might try to go around them and not they not get their, their commission. That is not what we're about. But when you can talk directly to the seller, they haven't been influenced on what they should take or how they should take whatever you're offering. You got to remember, you're there to help these people. And like the old saying goes, when you find someone in trouble, you're there to help those people out of the quicksand. You're not there to join them in the quicksand. And you're definitely not there to replace them in the quicksand. That is not what we do. We're there to help those people. And that's the important part of this. If you will work with the people and come up with solutions that will work, can be a great bonus to you and a great bonus for them. Now, this morning I was talking to one of my coaching students and he's trying to buy a property. He was offered a property at a certain price at a certain term or length of payback period, and this particular property had a 10-year balloon on it. So I helped him with the numbers. But knowing that these four parts, can they're adjustable, we come up with 10 different solutions on how he can make 10 different offers in 10 different ways. Hopefully, the seller will take one of them. It's a simple process. That's what I teach at the Never Step Into a Bank Again Boot Camp. I go into that extensively. Simply because that is a secret most investors know nothing about. Once you understand this, there's nothing you can't do that will work for you and hopefully work for the seller. But you got to remember, the seller's the one with the problem. You don't have to buy that property. Like they say, the greatest property in the world can become the worst property in the world with bad financing. You don't want to take on something you later wish you hadn't done. That's why if you can adjust the parts of every offer, like I talk about, once you become prolific at doing this, which all my students, they become very easily because it's a very simple process that no one else teaches. If you can learn this and you can use it, 
Every time you talk to a seller, there's no deal you can't put together. So just think about what I'm talking about. And you may want to think about coming to the four-day Never Step Into a Bank Again training that's available on my website, LarryHarbolt.com. Check it out. That's just a part of what I teach in that four days. There's so much more that you can get that will work for you, that will make your job of doing deals so much easier because you have strategies other people that are talking to these sellers don't have. You have more power because you can be more flexible to give the seller what it is they want. I truly believe you should always have five or six different strategies, different ways to make an offer, not necessarily just price, but different strategies, how to make offers to a seller. It's going to give you more chances of making a deal because when they shake their head no, like I always say, tell the seller, don't tell me what you won't do, tell me what you will do. And then you can adjust the parts to make it work until they shake their head yes. That's the important part. When you're just offering cash, if the seller says no, most people raise the price a little bit, submit the, the counter offer. If the seller says no the second time, most investors walk away. You don't ever have to do that again because you can adjust these parts until you can create the deal that works for you and it works for the seller. Everybody's a winner. That's what this is about. You want everybody to win. It's not just hooray for you and to hell with the seller. That is not good business. So I thought this was a great time to talk about not to panic, but look for opportunities other people aren't seeing because they're not looking for them. You need to hit the ground running and start looking for opportunities before anybody else knows that they're an opportunity. That's where you're going to make money in any crisis that comes up. If you are ahead of the curve, you will always end up doing more deals and you'll end up making far more money. But this is a very important piece of the information you need. Once you understand this simple concept of you can adjust the four parts of any offer, remember what they are, the price, the length of the payback period, the interest rate, and the payment amount. It, once you understand they're all adjustable, I mean, you can hit home runs with this strategy. I've got a lot of my students, especially coaching students that are using this every day, and they're making a lot of money. But it's a process that no one else is teaching. So it's something you may want to think about. Coming to the four-day Never Step Into a Bank Again training, don't hesitate. You need this information if you want to catapult your business and do far more deals than any of your competition can do. Well, this has been a short podcast, and it's going to wrap up this episode for this week. You know, I hope you found some value from today's topic, and I invite you to head over to LarryHarbold.com and register to keep up to date with my tips and ideas to help you better become a more advanced real estate person. If you're not already registered, head over to LarryHarbold.com forward slash register to get access to my free phone script on how to negotiate with sellers over the phone. And be sure to tell a friend and leave me a review on the podcast player that you're using to listen to me right now. You see, your reviews help me to know that the information that I'm providing to you is valuable. Be sure to check out my courses, articles, and available trainings on my website and watch for my Facebook Live posts I do every few days. And be sure to check out my coaching program at makingbiggerprofits.com. Makingbiggerprofits.com. So be sure to check that. So I hope you all have a great week. Until next time, this is Larry Harbour. Thanks for listening to The Real Deal Podcast with Larry Harbold. To learn more about investing in real estate, head on over to LarryHarbold.com and register for his educational tips and articles delivered by email.